Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Zebra Nation Plays Football Manager 2017, Team Canada Edition, uh, American Manager in London, all that stuff. Back to North American qualifying. Here's the big game, big big game here for the group stage of qualifying. Currently sitting in second place, Team USA is already qualified, so it's basically down to this match. Canada versus Honduras, and if I'm if I'm correct, like uh, isn't Honduras one of our rivals? Where does it show? Yeah, our two rivals are USA and Honduras. I, probably because of matches like this, where it usually comes down to one of us as the th third place team. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if there's some sort of historic reason behind this. I'm not up on my Canadian world history, I guess. But, I don't know. It's a fun little rivalry. We see them quite a bit in these international tournaments. So it's nice to nice to have another rival other than the U.S. Not that being a rival with the U.S. is bad or anything. It's just fun to have some others. I've kind of chosen Mexico as our rival as well. <clears throat> uh, rival in the sense of they always beat us. But other than that, it's kind of a one-way rivalry. With Honduras, it's a little more even. Maybe that's why. But we got some changes to make. We've got Conte with a suspension, so we'll get him out of there. He can't play. Any who? Well, that's fine. We got Rebel, and we got a lot of yellow cards. A lot of yellow cards. But that's okay. Who do we have to put back up there? I guess we better not. Hmm. They're not have an injury to our right back because <clears throat> we don't really have anybody to replace him. Maybe Patton could play there, but I don't know. Let's, uh, I guess first and foremost, let's take a look at fitness. See how we are with fitness. Guillard needs a rest. Uh, Guillard, Rodriguez, Hickson, Frankie V. I guess Graves too. So that's fine. We'll bring Molina in for Graves. Bring in Goldhar for Frankie V. That's good. Hickson. Uh, who do we got for Hickson? Got a lot of tired people. We might need to bring in David Jones. No, he's a goalkeeper. What am I thinking? Who am I thinking? Oh, we might need to actually bring in... Peton. He's at 90%. That's not great either. We're going to definitely have some fitness problems. I wish Bouchard could play some other other uh, positions. He's just a left defender. We don't really need him. But Cochran, can he play anything else? Full back. He could maybe play midfield, but we don't really play a wide midfielder. So you are of no help. <clears throat> Bouchard, double check. Uh, he could play right a tiny bit, but again, not a lot of help. Right? <clears throat> could have used a guy who could play midfield. So the question is, do we go with Hickson or not? Probably not. Benzaza. I guess is slightly more fit, so we'll throw him in there. Rodriguez is at 85%, but Tenenbaum is only at 88%, but I guess we'll put Tenenbaum in there because he's our starter. Uh, Guillard again at center back. Bring in Roger. Looks pretty good. Everybody's in the 90s except Tenenbaum. There's not much we can do about that. Change formations is not really possible with this lineup or with we've, the team that we've chosen. We haven't chosen any anybody who can play wide. I don't think. Let's go back to club selection. Let's see. Uh. Para could play right or left. Peton could play right or left. So I guess theoretically we could go 
Chu wouldn't have any substitutions at the wings, but we'd have at least two guys who could play out there. Um, all right, so how's White doing physically? It's hard to tell here. He's at 90%. Para is at 94. Not good. Poacher for Molina. Target man. Okay, okay, okay. We're not looking great. We're in a little bit of a rough shape fitness-wise. Got some people in there maybe we don't have a lot of confidence in. But you know what? This is what we got. This is what we'll go with. Yep. This is what we'll go with. Instructions. Keep it simple. Standard out wide. All that stuff. Should we go with a wider? Nah. Nah. Discipline. Stick to positions. Yep. All right. Here we go. Big game. Oh, I didn't even look at Honduras's team. Should have done that, but I guess in the grander scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much. Lineups. They're running a 4 4 1 1. That's interesting. Let's see. We can look at Honduras national team under 23 squad. So they have two scrubs on their team a goalkeeper and one of their substitutes who's also a goalkeeper. So they got scrub goalkeeper. That's good. Everybody else are real players. Some of them have some value to them. Who's their highest valued guy? If you look at that. The guy who's on the bench, Derek Samvuelto, 21 years old. Don't know anything about this guy. Don't know anything about any of these guys because, because we're not allowed to scout outside of London, essentially. <laughs> like... Uh, Basically, it's you know like we can't even scout Scotland or Ireland, much less, much less Honduras. So let's just go to the match. Here we are. We're doing our diamond formation. They got the four four one one. Apply advice. Let's close down on the striker, advanced midfielder, and uh, and the Morado over here. Close down on him. He looks aggressive. And I guess we'll close down on Urso as well, just in case he decides to get sneaky. Pep talk. Nobody predicts us to win. That's too bad. But with a bit of encouragement, we can pull off the upset here. Uh, we only need a point here to qualify for next round. So go out there and impress me. Nobody cares. At least nobody got nervous. That's good. That happens a lot sometimes with these... Uh, it happens a lot sometimes, and often, maybe, with under 23s, the younger players, they get nervous in these kind of situations. Here we are. Okay, we know that we're not in the blue, <laughs> so we have to be in the reds. There's Enamorado for them, so pretty sure this is their team. Again, if we get down or something, I'll switch to extended highlights so that I can get a grasp on this match we might need to switch to counterattack if they're going to sit here and control the ball like this oh there's a good steal there's a good steal there's a good steal okay i'm going to pause it there 36 seconds into the game we're making a tactical change just because i don't like the way it's looking More direct passing. Okay, there we go. Oh, good, sl good slide tackle, Cochran. 40 seconds in, we've changed everything. Based on one possession. Injury to Juan Carlos. 
All right. Uh, there's a good steal. Rebel, get it downfield, my man. Nice play, Molina. We're on the attack, boys. We're on the attack. Goldahar. Oh, off the crossbar. What a strike. From the 22-meter line or something like that. Is this rugby? I don't know. Ooh. All right, so that was encouraging for our counterattack strategy. I don't know if they count that as a chance. Ooh, here's Molina on the free kick. And over the top. I don't know if they count that as a quality chance if it hits the crossbar. I've heard of something called a half chance. Oh, Galdahar's got a dead leg. We'll keep him on until... Arf time. He's at 67% and getting a little better, so that's good. Para with the free kick. Oof, getting closer. All right, we'll ignore that piece of advice, but we are putting pressure on these guys. We're getting the highlights. Let's see, oh, there's a good play. There's a good play. There it is. There's the goal. That's what we needed. Look at that. Who it is? It's the man with the dead leg. Goldahar. Good man. Good man. He's our target man, too, and we don't have a target man currently in our list of substitutes. But that is excellent. If we can get ahead using the counterattack, that bodes well. It means we can stay on the counterattack and hopefully continue with the counterattack because they're going to have to be even more aggressive to try to get that goal back. Make the, make, 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 oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Get the ball. Make the save. Make the save. I don't know if he saved that or if it went off the post. It seemed to me like it went off the post. Here we go, nice header. Go get it, Para. Here we go, start the attack. Gildar, the dead leg. Mr. Dead leg. Oh, nice moves. Uh, bad pass, but nice moves. Good rough tackling there in the midfield. No yellow cards in this half. That's good. A lot of free kicks for us. Getting closer. Getting closer. We at least hit the net with that one. One of these days, we'll put a free kick on target. See if Goldahar can make it to halftime. Only five minutes to go. You get a free kick off, off target. That's good. Things are going well right now. If we keep this lead, maybe even get a second goal. That would be beautiful. Foul. Yes. Penalty kick. Who's going to take it? Tenenbaum? Our defensive midfielder is going to take the free kick? That's interesting. But whatevs. Whatevs. Let's, I want to pause this for a second. Take a look at our tactics. Uh, set piece. Okay, so we did set this up, right? Oh, but we it's uh, penalty kicks and free kicks are two different things, right? Yes. We did not set this up. So who's our best penalty kick taker? It is Conte. Hmm. Guess we can't do it in the middle of a penalty kick. <laughs> So where is our man Tenenbaum down here? Not great. He's got good composure, I guess. I don't know. Maybe because he's the one who got fouled, they'll just be like, all right, well, since coach didn't pick anybody, you got fouled, you take the penalty. Is that like, uh, ooh, there it is, nice, 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 nice. Is that like schoolyard rules, right? Like, you know, playing on the schoolyard, they're not going to just pick one guy to say, oh, you're going to take all the penalties. That's no fun. I have to assume schoolyard rules is you get fouled, you take the kick, if they do penalty kicks at all. Like, I assume that there's a lot of times <clears throat> um, 
where you just don't play with that kind of stuff. Like I know when you play pickup basketball, there's kind of the like no blood, no foul rules, and there are not very, very few free throws in like pickup basketball, if any at all. Basically, like uh, you know, you just take the ball out if you call a foul. Everybody calls you a chump, and then you get the ball. <clears throat> basically, that's how it works. Like if you if you go if you call a foul, basically you know that you're putting up with like a little bit of scorn and ridicule from the other guys on the court, but you get the ball. And that's kind of how it goes. Like if if you want to say, well, you know, I'm not gonna be a tough guy, but I want the ball, so I guess I'll call a foul. And look like a little bit of a chump, but I'll get the ball. All right, second half. <laughs> There's my pep talk. Don't be chumps. Don't call fouls. Don't take free throws. Uh, go beat Honduras. <clears throat> oh, yeah. For future reference, I was going to set up penalties, but I'll do that real quick, if I can, if they'll let me. Conte? Yes. Can I, I probably can't move these sub guys in there because I might want Graves to be my actual penalty taker, but Benzaza, Tenenbaum, that's fine. Fine. Okay, get the steal. Nope. Now we might have to change this up. We might have to ratchet it down a little bit. Oh! garbage. I wanted to obviously take out Mr. Deadleg. Okay. That was lackadaisical, but you made the play. If their guy had charged for that ball, that would have been a goal. Okay, so we got an extra couple minutes out of Galdahar. Let's bring in Graves. He is not a target man by any stretch. Guess we'll play him in advance forward. There we go. So that uses up one of our subs. But hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully they don't come back on us. I've got to assume they're going to get a goal. <clears throat> and make the game tight. But if they don't, we're fine. But if they do, we might have to adjust our tactics a little bit. Take a drink of tea. Okay, Graves, that was unnecessarily a bad shot. <clears throat> Right, Bell, let's make a better play than that, my man. But the defense is strong on the back line. Roger, our captain, playing well. Leo Roger, French Canadian. No doubt, he's a promising center back. Is the first yellow card of the game. That's good. <coughs> I mean, not good that he got the yellow, good that it's the first one. We got some tired guys in there. We can't make too many subs right now. Oh, come on, man. Got to be stronger with the ball than that. Let's get back on defense. That's fine. Nice play by Roger. Benzaza to Para to Conte. Up the field to Molina. Just outside the box. Play by play time here. There's a pass into Graves with the shot is wide <clears throat> all right let's look at making a sub here Tenenbaum of course is the most fatigued but he's looking calm Cochran has a yellow card Rebel is a little tired I mean we got plenty of guys we could sub in or out I guess uh, Rodriguez for Tenenbaum makes the most sense because defensive midfielder is one of our key positions, especially when we're trying to hold a lead, so we shall keep that there. We'll make that sub. Rodriguez in. So we've only got one sub left. We'll save that for later. See if anybody complains about getting tired or gets injured or anything like that. 
Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Roger, make a smart play out of here. That's smart-ish. Molina tried to come back for the ball, but was not quite successful. That's not going to work. Oh, nice play by Benzaza. Another drink of tea, 73 minutes in. Okay, okay, let's let's remember who's on whose team here. I almost headed that away from his own goalkeeper. That could have been disastrous. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's try a little bit less aggressiveness on the passing because... They're staying back now. They're staying well back, avoiding the counter. And they're just doing these build-ups. We need to take them out of this rhythm. Once we get the ball, we need to hold it a little bit. I think I'm going to take Rebel out. Oop, nope. Nope, 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 wait. We just picked up an injury to Cochran. So we'll make that sub instead. Bring on Bouchard. Confirm that. So we're going to be... There we go. We're going to be struggling for this last 10 minutes of the game to keep our match fitness up. Or just our general fitness. Oh, Pantamus. What an interesting play. <laughs> All right, instructions, shorter passes, retain possession. Pantamus again with a nice save. He's going to have some good, some good stats here with all those saves. Nice little hand, throw or toss or roll or whatever you call those. Non-kick thing. Here we go, Bouchard with an interesting play. So Rybel is going to be well tired. Everybody is. Conte, Benzaza, Para. Thankfully, this is the last match of the round. So we should get a month's rest, I assume. It's usually how this goes. We play a bunch of games and then none. There's Graves using that speed. Ooh, that was a good... It would have been better as a center, but, you know, we got the corner out of it, so it's can't complain too much. Rodriguez. Ooh. Too much traffic for that. But we get a corner out of it. No. Is that... Bounced off one of our own guys. All right, so here we go. Three minutes of stoppage time. We should be advancing here. No problem. Even if they score a goal here, that's fine. We'll still be one up. Right, Bell, nice play. Here we go. This sh We should be able to waste the time. Nope, we're just going to fire it downfield. Oh, they fell asleep. They fell asleep on the back line. Gra oh, Graves. What was that? I just want to look at Graves and see what his deal is. What's your deal? 14 finishing. I mean, he's a little tired, but nothing here would indicate why he played that so badly. 12 composure. I don't know. That was just luck of the draw, I guess. A little, little RNG right there. I assume there's RNG in the background of this. There has to be. Any kind of game like this, there's going to be random number generating going on. Because otherwise, I mean, you have to take account. You have to take into account, like, so many different factors. Oh, there's another good long ball down. Oh, that guy's pretty good. Nice vertical leap there by Akota. You have to take into account so many different stats and so many different factors that there has to be some RNG in the background. And there we go, full time. Lovely, lovely 2-0 victory over our rivals <laughs> of Honduras. 
overall pep talk passionately. That was really special, guys. Nobody gave us a chance, but you proved them all completely false. Very nice. Very nice game. Let's go look at the post-match analysis. Tenenbaum with a 7.1 rating. Nine interceptions. Nice for our defensive midfielder. Baldacci. Central defender with the uh, man of the match. 18 interceptions, 11 headers, 7.7 .7 rating. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at the analysis of the whole team. Uh, I thought Pentemis played. Pantemis? Pentemis? I don't know how you pronounce that. Pantemis? He's got a little apostrophe at the end of his name. Or does he? I don't know. Is that a French name? Oh, gosh. Let's change his name. Let's put the apostrophe there. I don't know. Pantamus. Pantamus, however you say that. I thought he had a good game. They didn't They didn't give him a thumbs up here, but I thought he did. Rybel. Your defense, again, played strong with a lot of running by the fullbacks, of course. A lot of interceptions by the central defense. A lot of running by our defensive midfielder as well. Those are all good signs. And nine interceptions by the defensive midfielder. Lots of passes by our midfielders. That's good. No chances for Molina. Well, he had two. I mean, that's okay. Goldahar was a real pro out there. Even limping around, he had six fouls against him. That's probably why he was limping. But it's a good match, good win. Let's uh, take a look here. Quality of possession provides victory. Uh, Honduras under 23s had a chance to secure qualification, but an 0-2 defeat at the hands of Canada saw them eliminated from the competition. Young striker Steve Goldahar gave Canada the lead with a simple finish from close. In the 26th minute, Tenenbaum scored from the spot after Romero gave away a penalty for pushing. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So there we go. Canada under 23s qualify for the semifinals. The team will be delighted to have qualified from such a difficult group containing the likes of USA and Honduras. They finished second in Group A. Of course we did. Cochrane suffers a damaged foot. That's no good. So we'll probably be replacing him next time around. Goldahar suffers a dead leg. He could probably be back by the next match. Next, whenever that is. Well, Ducci played well for the Canada under-23s. Good man. So let's take a look. Olympic qualifying. Nam, and then we'll wrap this video up. Uh, so it looks like it's USA and Canada versus Mexico and Costa Rica. That is a tough foursome right there. No, no surprises. Maybe you could count us as a surprise, I suppose. But it's going to be difficult to get into the next round. So group stage. Uh... Semifinals is what we want to look at. I think it's it's pretty much, yeah, qualification winners qualify for the finals. And the final, winners qualify for the Olympics. So this is a winner-take-all tournament. That's rough. I don't know if there's another qualification after this. I mean, there has to be a second attempt to get qualified. There can't be only one North American entry into the Olympics. That's crazy. But, you know, when you have Mexico and the United States, those two alone should garner two bids from North America. CONCACAF, if you will. Anyway, I won't get too upset about that because I I don't know. So, I mean, I could Google it, but why would I do that when I can just speculate? All right, that's it. See you later. Bye.